Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping well and keeping warm. What I want to share today is um, about the words of Jesus. That's what I've been concentrating while we've had this lockdown. And when I got to Matthew 25, he talks about the virgins. And this is what Jesus actually said. The kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. So what hit me was the ten were all invited. They were expecting to be involved. The ten responded and went out expecting to meet the bridegroom. The ten were part of the church. They were not unbelievers. The ten were looking forward to meeting the bridegroom and all ten believed he was coming. But five missed it. Jesus said five were foolish and five were wise. And when I looked at the Amplified Bible, it says the foolish were thoughtless and without forethought because they didn't take any extra oil. And the wise were sensible, intelligent and prudent. That is, to take care and thought for the future. Australia is a good country. We are well looked after and we have many freedoms. However, that has its own trap, for want of a better word, because it is easy to be settled and comfortable and to slack off and think we have plenty of time, especially during, during isolation. In the end, we are each responsible for the way we use our time. And I need to remind myself of this too. So let's, let's take seriously the words of Jesus. So is Jesus my number one priority? Is everything I do done to please and honour him? Am I willing to forgo something I want to please or bless someone else? Because we need to stay alert and be ready at a moment's notice. At the end of this parable, Jesus said, Watch therefore, give strict attention and be cautious and alert, for you know neither the day nor the hour when the Son of Man will come. He is coming at an hour when we do not expect him. So be diligent in every endeavour, knowing that the time is sure. Persevere is a great word about pushing on, never being satisfied with where we are. So enjoy all you are doing, encourage each other, but honouring Jesus first of all, so that when he comes, we are all ready. Cheers!